73 here, your fishing friend. I'm down here at the Amazonian Maze, and I want to show you a technique, a floating technique, that has worked for me. So let me show you where I'm at. I'm in this area here. Okay. You have to go through, see so there's one here, and one here, a little channel to get out in this area. Okay, once you're out in here, this is the middle of this thing is 45 feet deep, a long way through here. And here again, just like in Bolivia, mole cricket larva work for the big fish. Okay, the uh, Pyra Paraiba, I think that's what it's called. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There are big one here. There's a big one. The bull sharks, the electric eels. There it is, Paraiba. Okay, see, it's a catfish, and I've caught trophy, common and unique. Uh, but anyhow, let me show you this technique. Here's what I'm using. Lose this for a second. I'm using a, a La Casa Dora because these these fish get big. Uh, Seventy-two point seven pound max. A Torbellino 11,000, 70, they did 70.5 pound, 0.013 braid, which is 69.5 pound. I've got a 8 and 4 fifths ounce sinker, heavy sinker in the game. I've got a 0.018 liter, which is 81 pound test. That's a little overkill. Uh, the closest I can get, but that's what I'm using. And I've got a number 6 aught barbless on it with mole cricket larva okay now hope this finds you well let me show you where I'm at Doo -doo -doo. this is the big part of the lake here's here's the boat launch area right here and you have to go through one of these little narrow channels to get out in here work your way either either to the left or to the right you can get out in here we can't fish here yet they haven't opened that up but anyhow this is where I'm sitting and the current flows from east to west okay it's not very fast but it's, it's just enough that we can have fun with it so what I'm gonna do is I just throw this out there about 125 feet behind me or in front of me or whatever because I'm, I'm drifting I like 125 it just seemed like my number and we are headed see we're pointed kind of east east southeast but if you look at the trees and things they're slowly moving that way because we're drifting this way this way and then we just let it drift along the bottom and it catches fish so we'll see what we can get. This is a way you control here. Oh, look at here. And they get big. I caught a 175 pounder doing this. This is not that big. A sorbin. Make sure my anchor's up. Oops, my anchor's down. I ain't gonna drift anywhere. My anchor up, am I? <laughs> I mean, anchor down. Uh, now, one twenty-five, just just a number. It don't mean anything. It's forty-five feet deep here, so at one twenty-five, I'm about 80, 85 feet or so, or eighty feet or so, something like that behind the boat. I just like that number. Let's see what else we can catch. Now we start drifting. <laughs> With the anchor down, ain't going to drift too good. Y'all remember, I'm an old man of five minutes, and I forget what's going on. Now, you can cheat a little bit, too. See, we're moving now. But if you hit your reverse on your trolling motor, you get your drift started a little better. Let's see what happens. 
I have drifted all the way down to the front, caught some, and I'd run back up and he'd cast it out, and bam, right off the bat, catch something. So, we'll see what we can get. This is the Amazonian maze, and it is a maze, and it is amazing. <laughs> Now, for whatever it's worth, this area over in here is where a bull trout, I mean bull shark, have been caught. We're going to give ourselves a little more help with the trolling motor. One thing I don't like, you see, see that marker? See, we're moving. Didn't look like it, but we are. And this is bouncing along the bottom. Come on, Paraiba. It's like when I tried to show you catch an eel. I caught one and then didn't catch one and fish and fish. And then I caught one after I quit videoing. So, <laughs> so, so, uh, Spliced it in there when I caught it. There's a big fish here. The biggest one I've caught here so far is 349.966 pounds. An arapaima. And there are uni arapaima here. That's a uni. Oh, we got something. Yep. What we got now? That's uh, another little one. It's going to get bigger. Uh, looks like maybe another sorbent. You can tell you when you got a powder Eva there. That thing goes to the top. I don't mind catching these because look at the, see, that's like $140, $145 a pound. So good money. I don't mind catching them a bit. So I just sit back, just like I was in a real boat. I just sit back. Now in a boat, I'd have that in a rod holder. And I just sit back on it. Here we go. Wait till something hits. Now when you get a pot of Ebo in here, it's going to drag your boat around. So you need to reposition your boat so you're drifting good. And the guys that are down here in the CBT testing said there are five levels to the mission here. Because this, this place is so big to fish. Come on, Paraiba. The smallest one I've caught is 66 pounds. That's a big difference. That's 200, what, 280 pound difference roughly? Between the biggest and the smallest? Now that that would be a, a, a competition. That's the word I was looking for. The difference in the biggest and the smallest pot of Eva. <laughs> I got another video on one. A pot of Eva just teasing me in a little slough, and I tried forever to hook that thing, and it just it won't bite. I've been there wrong time, wrong something, because it sure wasn't gonna bite. Let's see what else we can get here. Come on, come on, big fish. But this is about as good as bottom fishing or float fishing. I haven't tried doing this with a float because everything seems to be at the bottom. Now, I did use a 30-foot blue crank and caught some fish with it. Doing the same thing. Because once you get that crank down to the bottom, you're moving along it a little, you know, 
mile, mile an hour or so and it'll stay down there or you can use your trolling motor to keep it down there come on fish there we go ding come on come back and get it come back and get it had a hit there wasn't much of one there we go come on come on thank you there we go there we go now let me show you what I do too I take my phone my iPhone lay it down on my space bar and let it reel it in raise my rod a little bit let it reel it in as long, if I keep using the raise rod my right mouse button they fight harder if I just let the use the left mouse button or the space bar see how it's dragging us around but this is a powder Eva and it's it's gonna be more than 66 pounds but this is my technique I don't know if anybody else using it yet that works for me maybe it'll work for you see what we got here come on come on come on in here oh now that big one I caught, it ran out about seven or eight times. It come in about to 60, 70 feet, then run all the way back out, 150, 200 feet. Run in and run out, run in, run out. So this, this is a decent fish. This is gonna be close to 100 pounds. That's my guess. But I'm not holding my rod up, see? Because if I hold my rod up, it just takes out line. So I'm just holding on the, the reel, letting the reel do the job. I guess I'm going to put my phone back up on the space bar again. Because it wants to run out a little bit. Thought it was going to come in, but not. Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on. My phone fishes better than I do anyhow. <laughs> here we go. What we got? Ah, close. 89 pounds. Show you what it looks like. There it is. Big old white belly catfish. That's the Pata Eba. So, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe if you would be so kind. And like I say, I've caught them 66 pounds. I caught them 349 pounds. And everything in between. So, they get, they're small and they're big. Uh, remember, we will get through this together by the grace of God. Learn a little bit. Pass it on. That's the fisherman's way. And P P P P. Practice, patience, persistence will produce, okay? So God bless you and your families. Take care, stay safe. Please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you'd be so kind. And join me on Twitch. Same channel as my name here, Double Talk 73 And I try to stream Monday through Friday every morning from 10 till noon Eastern Time. And on Mondays and Fridays, I have DLCs to give away as long as I've got them. And... Uh, you don't have to be present to win. You just have to come and enter the drawing. Doesn't cost anything to enter. Uh, I use a secret word. So you just type exclamation point and a word, whatever it is, for that day, and you're entered. Uh, I have a couple of Xbox this month, but most of them, what I have, are for Steam PC. So whatever I have, uh, I got three different ones this month. Until I run out, you can have your choice of whichever one you want if you win. That's about it. So, uh, I guess I'll catch you later. So, Double Talk 73, your fishing friends, I will catch you later. So, y'all come back now, you hear?